All right. Most of my stuff's been about backpacking from here before this, but uh, one of my true loves of California, being a native Californian, I've hiked these mountains for pretty much my whole life, and I happen to think California is pretty awesome. And I love trying to see what we got up here. I've always been, always been fascinated with the trees we have up here. And I'm in the Sierra right now. We're at a 90, on a 9,400 foot peak, Mount Talak. And... Ralston. Huh? Ralston. Oh, Mount Ralston. Sorry, I'll, I'll edit that. Mount Ralston. And I've always been fascinated with the trees of the Sierra. I always wondered what everything was around here. And I always try to do videos of stuff I haven't seen a lot of on the internet. So I haven't seen anything on this. I'm gonna do a series of videos uh, IDing trees of the Sierra. So. All right, so it got too windy up there on that mountain. So I had to do the rest of this at home. So who am I to tell you about trees? Uh, I am a certified arborist just recently. I've always loved trees and I finally got around to becoming a certified arborist. I'm by far not an expert. But I, but I love the trees, and you'll you'll see see it in my passion in these videos. So the whole point of this series is to help you, the hiker, uh, be able to see what's out there and identify the trees and see what's what's look look around instead of look. I know you long distance hikers are looking at your feet a lot. Look up. There's a magnificent trees in the Sierra. So California, we are a land of extremes. We have the highest point in the continental United States, which is Mount Whitney, the lowest point in the continental U United States, which is Badwater and Death Valley. And then we get to our trees. Uh, we've got the oldest tree in the world, which is uh, in the White Mountains across uh, the desert, uh, the Owens Valley across from the Sierra, the Methuselah tree, the bristlecone pines, the magnificent trees. We have the most massive, bulkiest tree in the world, which is the Sequoia the Sequoia Gigantia in Sequoia National Park. It's the General Sherman tree. And then we get to our redwoods, which is what kind of California is known for. And what's really cool about redwoods, they're actually continually discovering new taller trees. In 2006, the tallest tree was thought to be called the Stratosphere Giant, which was in the Humboldt Redwood State Park. And in 2006, they found several that were even larger than that. The the old record was 369 feet. The current tallest tree is 379 feet in Redwood National Park. And that's known as the Hyperion tree, which is uh, known as, the Hyperion tree is, uh, in Greek, it's called, it means the, the high one. So it's, it's a secret location, unfortunately. There's been a lot of vandalism, especially in Redwood National Park. People want to collect souvenirs. Uh, so you have to use your imagination, but here's a picture of this tree. Look how amazing this tree is. So uh, the, what's an interesting fact about this tree, in the 70s, it is it was only 100 yards from a clear cut, and it was literally months away from being clear cut, and never, we would have never known about it. In the 70s, during the Carter administration, that was finally made part of the Redwood National Park, and the old growth redwoods, what, small percentage, I think it's only 4% left, are preserved in those, in those national parks up there. So that's one of the reasons I want to do these videos is to educate people, raise awareness, and hopefully encourage protection of these uh, for our, our children and their children because they are awesome. So when you're out hiking, look around the flora, fauna, wildflowers, trees, it's, it's all awesome. I've been lucky to grow up and hike around trees my whole life, so I wanted to share that with you. So enjoy the series, and again, if you have any trees you'd like me to talk about, just uh, drop a comment and I'll get to those as soon as I can or as soon as I can hike to them. Thanks for watching.